Hello. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Ann Robinson. I am a project man manager at the Ohio Colleges of Medicine Government Resource Center, or GRC for short. Uh, the GRC team also involved in the project work I'm presenting includes Emily Bailey, Kara Whalen smith and Fei Zhang. I am happy to be here today to give a brief introduction and update on the Ohio Systems of Care Project ECHO for Multisystem Youth, also known as MSY ECHO online toolkit. I'd like to acknowledge Ohio Department of Medicaid and Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services for funding this project in partnership with the Department of Developmental Disabilities. Goals for this presentation are to help you understand the basis for the MSY ECHO toolkit, what is included in the toolkit and how to access it, and finally, how one might use the toolkit to locate resources to assist youth with complex needs. First, I will share some information about the toolkit for those who are not familiar with it. Um, this figure is probably familiar if you visited the System of Care Project ECHO website, showing the process of a case from referral to, to uh, Family and Children First Regional Liaisons through to case presentation, recommendations, and follow-up. Case presentations received excuse me, presentation teams received tight recommendations from the MSY ECHO community as part of the process, but these recommendations are not typically shared beyond the session. So in 2021, the plan to create an online toolkit of MSY ECHO recommendations and resources was established as a way to share valuable information from the ECHO community beyond each session. Goals for the toolkit were to identify key themes from MSY ECHO case re recommendations, compile relevant resources to help the learning community with management of complex cases, to share tools and resources online who, for those who are unable to participate in weekly ECHOs, and to communicate to the learning community what are key themes in the management of complex cases that have arisen from the weekly case discussions and recommendations. This chart shows the steps taken to create the toolkit and where we are now here at the end. Um, last fall, GRC began a qualitative them thematic analysis of ECHO case presentation recommendations from previous months. Um, we compiled tools and resources by theme and then went on to create an online platform for the toolkit that could provide public access to this content. The toolkit was launched at the end of January 2022, and GRC worked with Neomed to host a public comment period in February to solicit feedback from the community. Analysis of case recommendations has been ongoing, and GRC will be integrating feedback from the MSY ECHO community into regular toolkit updates. This month, youth support and family caregiver support areas that were previously under construction have been populated with recommendations and resources and will be viewable in mid-May. This screenshot from the homepage of the toolkit here at the bottom shows the different topic headings under which items are housed within the toolkit. And these are all buttons on the toolkit. Now I'd like to give you more information about accessing the toolkit and how it might be used. Um, the toolkit can be accessed from the Ohio Wraparound site Project Echo page or the GRC website, and I can also post these links in the chat later. At the bottom of the slide, I, slide, I have a screenshot of the home page of the toolkit where we've tried to help the user understand that these are general recommendations that may be applied in management of complex cases and do not represent medical advice or direction for a specific individual. Um, some recommendations may contain a diagnosis such as autism spectrum disorder, as they may be applicable to the needs of many youth who have received a diagnosis of ASD, but may also be helpful to youth with similar needs who do not have that diagnosis. The toolkit is directed toward anyone who works with or provides services to youth with complex needs and also family members of this, these youth. Um, recommendations and resources typically fall into these three categories. Services or providers could be an evaluation or assessment, specific type of provider or an evidence-based intervention. 
Supports could be peer support agencies or organizations that help people participate in their community or online resources that may assist providers or youth to meet goals. And education and training recommendations can be for families or providers or both. Um, the toolkit resources are primi primarily links to online resources that are free and publicly available and also trainings. Um, there are also links to find out more about particular books and where to access them. In order to better illustrate how one might use the toolkit, I've pulled some examples to show you. These are actual questions from case presentation teams about a youth with complex needs, a suggestion of where in the toolkit you could look to find recommendations or resources to help the youth, and items that were shared with the case presentation team that can now be accessed through the online toolkit. So this team wanted to identify better identify triggers to the youth's behaviors, feelings, and escalations. And if we were to click on the evaluation and assessment topic button from the toolkit homepage to go to that section, um, you would find resources, recommendations of services or providers that might help this youth. Um, the team could consider an assessment by an occupational therapist to determine the sensory processing needs of the youth, particularly any difficulties with interoception. Also to look into having a functional behavioral assessment conducted to see what factors or issues might be triggering or reinforcing the challenging behaviors and provide the team with information to develop, develop an appropriate intervention plan. And in the resources section of evaluation assessment, <clears throat> there's a link to a website with guidance on evidence-based supports for interoception issues that might be helpful to this team. Um, for this example, <clears throat> excuse me, this team wanted to know more about how to help the youth they were working with manage safety issues in regard to self-harm and to others. So uh, looking in the therapy intervention section of the toolkit, we find recommendations and resources that the MSY Echo shared with this team in response to that. Uh, recommendations to find ways to help the youth relax and regulate their body with some examples of activities they might enjoy. Uh, to consider a trauma-informed strength-based approach in therapy to increase the youth's social problem-solving and regulation skills, and to see if trauma-informed experiential family therapy could help increase engagement and work on problem-solving, coping, and social skills in the home. And in the resources section, there is a link to the Trauma-Informed Care Collaborative for additional guidance. This last example, the case presenters wanted recommendations for the local team to have in place and include this in the transition plan for a su successful return home. Um, both the youth support section and the family support section of the toolkit would be places to find this information. Uh, recommendations and resources shared with this team were to support the youth in connect connecting with other youth who have had similar life experiences. And you see there were links to find more information about organizations that could help facilitate this. And then also to consider a trauma-informed approach with the family and some important things to consider about the experience of the family and how they relate to the youth. So I want to um, just call out all of the <clears throat> hub experts and folks in the ECHO community who have provided this great information. You can see that um, it's very well attuned to the needs of the case presentation teams and addresses things that might be common um, for many folks across the state. So we hope that this will be a place that um, people can find that information if they're not able to access all of those experts on a regular basis. And um, so those are some examples of how that's, that's worked well uh, in terms of um, the ECHO process um, providing those recommendations. Um, and that's all I have to share. We hope that you will take a minute to check out the toolkit if you haven't already, um, share it with others and come back every so often to see what new items have been posted. I'm glad to answer any questions now or you may contact me by email if you have them. them. But um, thank you for everyone, uh, to everyone for your time.